Welcome to this video where we'll be exploring mono, multi and mixed method research designs. We'll also explore some of the challenges and decisions which must be made when deciding to employ a mixed method research design. Research designs can be built in multiple ways using mono, multi and mixed methods of data collection. And the methods of data collection and the research design should align with the aim of the research and the underpinning research philosophy. Now within this video, we are going to be using the definition of mono, multi and mixed methods proposed by Saunders, Lewis and Thornhill. They propose three distinct paths when it comes to the type of methods used. The first is mono methods. And within a mono methods research design, a single data collection technique is used along with the corresponding data analysis procedure. Whilst in a multi methods research design, more than one data collection technique is used. However, this is either quantitative or qualitative. So it's multiple types of data collection techniques from either the quantitative or qualitative category along with the corresponding data analysis procedures. Whilst mixed methods research design employs both quantitative and qualitative research in a single research design. So let's explore mono method research design. If we consider there to be two poles at either end of the spectrum based on a positivist philosophy or an interpretivist philosophy. If we employ a mono method research design, we could follow either of these paths. So if we were conducting a piece of research using a positivist philosophy, we would logically employ deductive reasoning and we might utilise questionnaires as our data collection tool in order to collect quantitative data. And then we could conduct data analysis through the form of statistical analysis. This would help to give us objective data, which we could test for cause and effect to find that one single truth, which the positivist research philosophy looks for. Following the other poll, if we adopted a interpretivist research philosophy, we could then utilise inductive reasoning to build theory. And we might choose to collect data through interviews with participants, giving us qualitative data, and we could use thematic analysis in order to interpret the data to look for reoccurring themes within the data set. Either of these paths would fit with a mono method research design. Let's now consider multi method design. If we wanted to conduct a qualitative multi method research design, we could follow the path of adopting an interpretivist research philosophy, inductive reasoning, but then employing two types of data collection, which would both collect qualitative data. So for example, we could utilize both interviews and focus groups to collect two types of qualitative data. Another way in which we could adopt a qualitative multi-method research design would be to use only one type of data collection, 
but to adopt two different types of data analysis. So we could potentially use both thematic and content analysis. So we could use thematic analysis to look for reoccurring themes from the interview data, and then use content analysis to look for the use of key terms within the interview data. A mixed methods design could be achieved through adopting a realist or pragmatist philosophy and through employing deductive, inductive, abductive or a mix of these reasonings and research approaches and through utilising data collection which collected both qualitative and quantitative data so for example potentially through interviews and questionnaires and by utilising data analysis appropriate for both qualitative and quantitative data so for example through using thematic analysis to analyse qualitative data and statistical analysis to analyse the quantitative data. Now proponents of mixed methods research posit bringing different types of data together can strengthen research by offering multiple perspectives that can increase validity and generalizability. However, a word of caution it is also highlighted within the literature that mixed methods can lead to a lack of clarity and focus within research, with good intentions of including more data becoming detrimental and as such projects employing mixed methods becoming as clear as mud. So it's important to be aware of the rationale and purpose of employing mixed methods because simply having more methods does not lead to a better research project unless there is a rationale and purpose for their use and application and clarity as to how mixed methods can be integrated within a research project. If a researcher decides to utilise mixed methods, the next thing to think about is whether sequential or concurrent mixed methods will be used. And this needs to be planned ahead. So concurrent mixed methods involves collecting both quantitative and qualitative data at roughly the same time. And because these two sets of data are collected at roughly the same time, one will not inform the other. Well, sequential mixed methods involves distinct stages of data collection which occur one after the other, often informing the next stage of data collection. Now, when it comes to choosing a research design, it will have methodological implications. So the data collection decisions, including the ordering of which stage of mixed methods data collection comes first, will have implications for the underpinning research philosophy. 